Back pain is something many people deal with at some point in their lives. Severe cases often even require surgery to fix the problem. But now with the help of innovative technology, procedures on the spine are faster, less invasive, and overall better for the patient. Marty Salt has the story. Nancy Bulefeld loves to stay active. I love to go for walks, love to go for hikes, love to play tennis, just picked up pickleball. But severe pain in her lower back kept her off the court. I couldn't play with the running and the jarring. It hurt too much. It's pretty readily apparent how bad nerves are pinched right in this channel here. They come After x-rays and an MRI, Nancy that. learned she had a deformity in her spine mm -hmm. and severely pinched nerves. Surgery was her best option. You have to not only unpinch the nerves, but you have to rebuild that part of the spine as well. Dr. Steven Ritter is an orthopedic spine surgeon. He uses the Stryker's Q guidance system to visualize the surgery. It produces real-time 3D models of a patient's spine, allowing surgeons to operate through a small incision. Traditionally, with the big open surgery, you have to open the, the incision wide to be able to see the anatomy to repair what you need to repair. With, with these different technologies, you're allowed to repair a lot of the structural problem without ever having to see the anatomy directly. You're visualizing it on a screen. Dr. Ritter says for his patients, a smaller incision means a lower risk of infection, less pain after surgery, and a shorter overall recovery time. Nancy's surgery was a success. She's now pain-free and once again able to enjoy the things she loves. I got my activity back, my really active lifestyle. Marty Salt, 16 News Now. And Dr. Ritter says this navigation technology as a whole can be used for many things, but he says this specific guidance system he uses is uniquely designed to help with spine surgeries. We'll be right back. Stay with us.